Now we are going to this model analysis. So it is showing pre-stress. Okay. Click on analysis setting. We are going to, we are going to uh, put range up to 75. So as like uh, it was earlier, like we have we have an uh, excitation frequency ranging from zero to fifty hertz. So ideally, we would extract enough modes to encompass like one point five times that range, or up to like seventy five hertz. So that we have put there. So here, what we will do. Like uh, since we do not know how many modes are needed to reach uh, 75 hertz, so first we will start uh, setting this max mode to find to 10, then run the model solution. So, so here we are going to define first uh, 10 modes. <coughs> Now we are going to solve. So it has been solved and if you go to click on solution, you can see frequency here. Okay, so what we are going to do. We are going to click on solution information, then here participation fact summary and if we see ratio of effective mass to total mass and in y direction it's a 0.68 like a, uh, like ratio of effective mass to total mass in the seismic excitation that is in y direction so here we are seeing in y direction so ideally we would like to have at least 90% of effective mass represented by the modes in the y direction. So this may be case of applying missing mass effect. So here you can see we have to see the frequency. So first question comes like are the frequency closed spaced? So you can see like 0 0.15, 0 0.20, 0 0.21. So they are these are like closed, closely spaced. And the highest extracted frequency here it is 0 0.50957. That is 0 0.51 hertz. We can see. 